breakfast <coughs> in a 39 pound radio. A little bit worrying. <laughs> this is actually, actually horrible. In Gordon Ramsay voice, it's raw. Hey everyone, it's Barry here. Hope you're well wherever you are in the world. Today, we're looking at this. This by Blaupunkt. Blaupunkt, aren't they the people that did like car stereos and audio systems and stuff? The four in one breakfast maker, which came about literally uh, from this tweet. Uh, it was just the other day, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go to that shop and just get it because uh, it excited me. So thank you, Callum, for that tweet. And Blaupunkt, like I say, specialists in car audio. It's kind of like JBL doing saucepans. But Blaupunkt, which they actually had quite a good reputation, uh, went bust, I didn't know this. They went like bankrupt in 2016. But just before they suddenly got liquidated, towards the end of 2011 apparently, uh, they became a managed brand name and they're solely made in China. It might as well say Boston the Pug on it as a brand. It, it's just probably just badge. They've sold the name, the logo, the rights to this Chinese company that are like, yeah, that's cool, we'll have that. And I fell for it. And this thing is £39, so it's not super cheap when you consider other, you know, the gadgets I've been getting from Audi recently. And on that note, I opened this last night just to make sure there was nothing crazy I need to get. The instruction manual, I know it's just like, yeah, it's an instruction manual. The font used on this manual, all the way through it, looks identical to the ones from Audi. All the wording and everything, but anyhow, I digress, I digest. It's called the four in one breakfast maker because it's got four different separate elements. So that's our frying pan. That is a compartment for cooking the eggs. It all smells so factory, like one of the most factory smelling things I've opened in a long, long time. And this is the main saucepan thing. So we can warm up beans here. I guess we could put the lid on and keep things warm too. So lots of flexibility there. And the fourth being a toaster, which is just sat on the side. It doesn't feel like a kitchen appliance. It just feels like a massive Scrooble Scramble game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so the Scrooble Scramble things are literally, most of it is for the toaster. So you've got reheating, defrosting, canceling, and changing uh, the uh, browning of the toast. Uh, this is the, the dial is on most toasters. And then of course, for this thing, which is gonna get super hot, that is just basically a heating element which is just on or off. It does feel like that, it's actually quite good quality, but 40 quid is quite a lot. So let's just jump straight into it and cook some breakfast. But whilst that warms up, I do have an opinion on these things. I mean, they are cool and stuff like that, but you can't really, I mean, it says four in one, but you can't do it all at the same time, can you? And effectively, one, is just toast. So you can either fry, you can either boil or simmer at once. You can't do it all in one go. So there needs to kind of be a method to this when we just sort of finish with the toast at the end, which is gonna be the quickest thing. Oh yeah, we can see this warming up now. That is angry. Wow, I do dislike that we can't control uh, how hot that gets. And it's just literally, Katy Perry, I'm hot, then I'm cold or whatever. It's, that is it, you know? But that toaster, I'm quite impressed with that. Look how quick that like cools down and warms up. Watch this. Boom, like that. That's amazing. All right, so I've got two sausages on there, which leaves plenty of room for some other bits. Uh, I'm just gonna get a bit of spray oil so we can get that coated as it warms up. And the thing that I really like is we can grab our lid. It can actually sort of slightly replicate an oven in that way by keeping that heat in there. I'm starting to hear sizzling. Amazing. That's really weird. The heat must rotate on this regularly because it was going absolutely crazy. I flipped it over and I've got a nice deep char on it. But now it feels like it's going cold. <laughs> it's like giving up. Now what I'm trying to do on this first one is try to cook it all in one go because I don't like the idea of start stopping, start stopping. So should be able to get two bits of bacon on there. Put the baked beans. Wow, baked bean tins are getting smaller. Oh my gosh, they're like nearly 100 grams. They used to always be like 500 grams. But here we go, this is working well. And my point is I'm gonna use this as a hub to keep my bacon and some other bits warm. So we prioritize on the sausages and then also try a fried egg. Yeah, the box doesn't actually say uh, about doing a fried egg. It's really, really promoting this egg cooker, which we will do. But I personally have never really enjoyed I don't mind a runny boiled egg, but I've never really liked it. And we want to test that on its own just to see what it's like. I want a fried egg, I want to go old school. 
Look at that though. It is definitely working. It's just a little annoying because the heat just keeps just like you just saw there. It keeps going, oh my gosh, there we go, it went. That, no, it's gone. <gasps> my handle has actually broken. Oh my gosh. Um, look, I can't lift it up. And of course, as that happens, the heating element warms up, doesn't it? No, it's got a locking system. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to just use oven gloves. Um, dear patron that's gonna win this machine, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that is really dangerous. And this is how I've decided to do it. I'm gonna put the bacon actually in one bit here. This is gonna be our warming hub to warm the beans up with the stuff we've already cooked. Now I've got some tomatoes and mushrooms. So far I've gone from loving it to potentially hating it. I don't know. This is not good. If I try and pick this up now, look, my hand wants to go under that heating element because we're broke. I need to put my thumb there somehow. It just wants to fall forward. Oh dear. I've got this sort of tomato residue of seeds that are gonna actually burn. I'm gonna try and get as much off as I can. Ugh. I'm not really selling it to you, am I? All right, so bacon, mushroom, tomatoes, and beans are in there. Let's fry an egg. And I am now gonna start my toast. Sausage, egg, toast, beans, bacon, mushrooms, tomatoes. Yeah? But what I wanted to do was get this bit up and onto here so I can warm all this through. I really should be cooking it this way. Well, I just lift this up. Look, you can see it's sort of like half cooked. So hopefully with the heating element at that end, it will do the rest. Because underneath that, those beans are getting warm by the second. Don't speak too quickly, but I think I might have just been able to fix the handle. I'm just really scared to use it too much now, so we'll warm it for a little bit longer and serve up breakfast number one. A cooked breakfast <coughs> in a 39 pound radio. That is a massive breakfast, oh my gosh. At the end of the day, this machine just made that. That is pretty cool. <laughs> mm. The main thing is, it is all warmed. We've got slight Blistering on the tomatoes too, a bit of a bonus. Softened mushrooms, lightly charred bacon, but I guess it's really like the egg. Yeah, oh wow, that's pretty good. And we only used, remember, a little bit of spray oil in there at first just to get it going. Then by adding things like the bacon, just added, enhanced that. So it's not super unhealthy. And I really need to stop eating this. Yeah, that's a pretty cool start, right. I wanna try and boil the eggs. So it turns out with the handle, folks, what must have happened during cooking, like you can't push it up to lock it in. You've got to physically push it in and then push it back out there and that will hold it in place. But during cooking, it went from this and I must have maybe squeezed it a little bit and it went like that, which is a little bit worrying. <laughs> but anyhow, this can actually have a rest for a moment because it's all about this pan, which I've done my best to clean out. There's a couple of scorch marks there and they are actually in line with where the heating element is. Look at that. I like to think of it as like a war sky, you know? Uh, there is a max fill line there, which I assume is for our water for boiling eggs. You can actually get eight in there if you want. And amazingly, one of my eggs has decided to topple over. Uh, and now they all are, oh my gosh. Oh no, this is horrible. <laughs> this is actually, actually horrible. I filled it to the max line and it's, it's making it bob. Ah, let's try that again. Okay, so lid on. Oh no, one's just fallen over again. Oh, is this what's gonna happen? I'm just gonna end up keep knocking them over. I'll put this one down this end. Oh no! So I'm very carefully put this on. And there we go. Right. So I feel really uncomfortable about this. Woo! You don't want to put that lid this side as if you're doing toast at the same time. That would get very wet indeed, wouldn't it? This should be our soft one. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. In Gordon Ramsay voice, it's raw. Okay, well that's a good start, isn't it? And that actually was lying down in more of the water, so actually getting a bit more heat into it. The next one has just fallen down as well. 
This one should be a medium egg. To be fair, it does feel heavier. Ooh, there we go. That is a that is a runny egg. All right, cracking. That has actually worked. For your safety, do the medium egg at least. But this does feel nice and heavy. I'm feeling fairly confident about this. Ooh, look at that. Slightly still lighter in colour there, but that's still set. It is not runny at all. I think that has jolly well worked. They all fell over. But yeah, not too bad. It has it has worked. I feel why why did I feel awkward saying it? It has worked, but but yeah. Alright, so I want to try two more things. This is a, a breakfast muffin. I can just sit in there for a minute. We're gonna try and make a McMuffin. Come on. Oh my gosh. Get in there. It does not feel safe. This is a pork patty and I'm gonna put the lid on it. We can then keep it warm whilst we cook our eggs and I've got a gadget for that. It's basically these things which I've had for a blooming long time so I could get like a heart shaped egg. I think I'm gonna go classic circle though. Oh! No, it's gotta be like flour, hasn't it? Let's do that. So we can keep pushing that. I'm done down to where the heating element is less so we've got a bit more control. Literally a bit. <laughs> My wash mould goes down. Oh, and it's escaping a little bit. It's escaping loads. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> That's okay, we've got a lot of egg white. It was a large egg. Beautiful, that egg is just about done. There's quite a lot that has egg escaped. Thank you. Uh, the toaster, we're gonna put that down. Putting the cheese on top of the pork here. Lid goes down, so that's just gonna, again, act as an oven to cling and melt that cheese on there. Ooh, ooh, blimey. It's all very hot and intense at the times. A cheesy patty and a confused flower-shaped egg. I am so glad that handle is working right now. Oh, wow. Uh, hey! <laughs> this on top, remember the egg yolk is firmed in these, but I guess you could do medium runny if you want. Mmm, mmm, need sauce, but damn that's good. I think that's my favourite thing we've made in it. I put ketchup in it for Mrs B. Mmm. Good? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Nice. Well, thanks so much for watching, folks. What a great machine, uh, and actually the lucky patron that gets this one. I'm saying lucky now, because I think that has alone justified it. Uh, I'll also uh, send you those as well, pretty fun indeed. I don't really need a Christmas tree egg, but maybe you do. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like and share it to people that you think might enjoy it. Subscribe for regular food fun, and I will see you again next time. Oh, did I mention bonus scene? Yeah, we're just gonna quickly do some pancakes, all right? All right, so first up for this one, we are gonna fry some bacon and this can actually go a little cold, but we will push it so it's a bit crispier. Kind of fell apart a little bit and shrunk, but that will do. Clean this out a sec, because although I would like to have kept a little bit of that bacon grease on there, we're gonna do some pancakes. You get the idea. Yeah, that is the only thing. You can't control the heat on them that well, but hey, pancakes are working. Yeah, you're not quite getting that heat constantly to like really get the height in it and maintain it. By the time it cooks, it kind of goes cold and loses all of its momentum. So I had to make quite a lot of pancakes here. I remember I went to Albuquerque where Breaking Bad's filmed and had a pancake there at like 3 a.m. There's this pancake house nearby. The lady that owns the Breaking Bad house, she was, really annoyed with the amount of people that were turning up at her house. It was quite funny. I was like, why didn't you just sell it <laughs> if you hate it that much? But I don't know, she was pretty proud. There we go. That's pretty cool. Mmm. But I do the same mix there in a frying pan. It's normally fluffier, but I'm not going to say no to a pancake. Cheers, folks. Maybe get it if you want.